phone is Sam Cheney, and Sam and I go way back. Uh, Sam was there before Sovereign California, before Yes California. I think the first interview on TV I ever did about the idea of California being a nation was on your show here out of Fresno. Um, so you were yeah, because of your book. Yeah, because of your book. Yeah, so you pre you've been watching the Cal Exit movement before it was even an organization, Sovereign California or Yes California. Uh, you helped us out with some accounting. You've been around, and uh, I just got asked um, over the last year. Did you ever stop thinking California could pull it off as a nation? You fundamentally go, you know, I thought maybe you guys could, but now I've thought about it. You guys. You, get, you can't pull out off as a nation, or is it just, um, you know, polit- politics and fighting, but you, you never stop thinking that was a possible idea? Oh, I think it's a possible idea. I think that California, like us here in the Central Valley, for instance, Fresno area, are not represented by Sacramento one little bit, and you have the population centers in San Francisco and L.A. that dictate policy to the rest of the state, and so I think it needs to be break, broken up into more than one state, actually. So if there was a, a nation of California, and then it, it created within that nation maybe like three states or seven states, therefore creating governors that had direct contact to the, what would be then a president or prime minister, would that be a workable? Well, I, I just think that, that people paying taxes need to be represented, and I don't feel like I'm represented at all, and I pay my taxes, so I feel like uh, that's one of the reasons we fought a revolutionary war against Britain in this country was uh, no taxation without representation. And, and so you do agree with the idea that California pays more into the federal government, it supports a military that it wouldn't choose to, and so that's not fair, right? We, we get two senators, we don't get uh, our fair amount of electoral college votes, we don't get our fair amount of House of Representative members that was capped three or four decades ago, and yet we pay billions more into a system that we get nothing for. That's fundamentally I not agree, right. I agree with that. California, California is getting screwed by Washington, D.C., and in turn, the lowly taxpayer, me, is getting screwed by my state and Washington, D.C., I'm not happy with any of the government at this point in time. If, I don't feel like any of, their, any of their policies represent what I want to happen. Fair enough, fair enough. Um, now, you, you, of course, are aware that uh, California lost $13 billion, I think, in 2016, and the amount of money that was going to be raised by the gas tax was slightly more than that, meaning that if we weren't subsidizing 35 states, we could have not had the gas tax at all. Do you think that's fair that we have to raise taxes on ourselves when that same amount of money is being given to 25, 35 states? Sir? I don't think that's fair, and I don't think that the uh, gas tax is fair either. But, uh, so we could, uh, we could at least... I think all taxation is theft, honestly. Yeah, and I, I know that you're more on the conservative side. I Please, I, I know I'm not, you're going to have a particular... How, real quick, not super long, 25 seconds, how do you describe your political ideology? What is the exact phrase that you would use? I'd say uh, my political ideology is I'm, I'm more uh, libertarian-leaning, honestly. Okay. Okay, so there's been a lot of libertarian support for CalExit from day one, I think, because we were talking about lower regulation and saving money. Um, uh, so there's interest there. Uh, I want to get into it, though. Um, you were helping out with accounting for Yes, California. Yes, California was investigated by the uh, California government, the FPPC, uh, Fair Political Practices Commission. And I think you were part of, you, you were at least notified of that investigation. And um, if I'm not mistaken... Oh, in the investigation. It was a witch hunt. It was a hoax. What do you, what do you mean by that? In your words. I mean, it was a made-up, I mean, somebody made up a charge, an anonymous whistleblower, quote, whistleblower, made up a charge, and then, uh... And the state government lost an investigation into it, saying that we were uh, doing some shenanigans with uh, money that we raised for 
the CalExit campaign. Does that seem a legitimate process of government? Someone files a complaint. They say, hey, I personally... of anything. Right, but let me just, for the, for the people listening in, so they can know the, the uh, history of this case. So, person X filed a complaint with the FPPC saying they saw you, me, and Lewis uh, taking money and embezzling and, you know, taking money from a foreign government. Person X also named another person in that complaint and saying, hey, this person also saw all these things with me and they, they, they are totally with me on this observation. Now, we at Yes California reached out to that other person mentioned in the case and they said, I never filed anything. I never That's mentioned this to anyone. Bullshit. Yeah, so yeah. person X who filed the complaint to the FPPC committed, as I'm being told now by uh, legal experts, a perjury, which makes the document a fraud. We at Yes California took the time to talk to this other person who was mentioned in the complaint. They said, hey, I never said anything like that. I don't know what you're talking about. Someone's using my name. They shouldn't be doing that. We had that person write an email up. We forwarded it to the FPPC saying, hey, the complaint filed against us committed fraud. And the person lied. And here's hey, something, something real quick about that. Something real quick about that. It's scary when uh, they send some guy to my, to my house like 7 in the morning to, to uh, hand me a subpoena. That's scary stuff, man. So the California government is having people show up at people's homes early in the morning, wake yeah. them up and going, hey, you're being investigated for uh, crimes by the government. Good morning. That's traumatizing, but I guess because I'm a white libertarian, I'm a piece of shit in their eyes, and uh, they can do whatever they want and harass me, traumatize me, and that's just perfectly uh, acceptable. And, and, I just, and, and this is the end of due process. I don't even have the right to face my accuser because they're a, quote, whistleblower of made-up bullshit. It parallels the whole Trump-Russia collusion hoax. Uh, on a lot smaller scale. You said it, I did it, but yeah. Uh, it's the same type, of, uh, same type of action they took against us as they, as they ran with the whole Trump-Russia collusion. Well, let me, Baloney. let me, I have a slightly different opinion about that investigation. I do agree there's many parallels. Um, let me just cover for the people listening in. Person X filed a complaint. They said, hey, this other person was with me and they saw these bad things done by Yes California people. We talk to that other person, they go, I didn't say anything like that. We then get a letter from that person, we send it to FPPC, FPPC says, thank you for the letter showing that the complaint was fraud and they lied and committed perjury and, in, and now we're definitely going to investigate you. So we went to the FPPC, showed that the claim itself was fraud, gave them direct evidence gave them the contact information of the person who was saying, yes, this person lied about me. I did not say this. And in response, the California government, FPPC commission, decided to definitely do the investigation then on what they knew was a fraudulent claim. Does that sound like good government to you, Sam? No, it doesn't. What? Does it sound maybe like, hey, this person claimed that you're getting money from Russia... Yeah, it's a fraudulent claim, but uh, we think there's something there anyways, and we're going to go for it. Even we don't really have enough evidence to move forward. Uh, because i got to point out... It was, totally, it, was, it was obviously totally political, totally, totally fraudulent, a waste of taxpayers' time and money, and the state should be ashamed of themselves. Well, and then, and then the state subpoenaed the bank accounts, looked into them, um, I think they sent you a letter. They sent me a letter. That was quite nerve wracking. And I had a guy hand deliver a subpoena to me at like seven in the morning at my house. Yeah, and the bank accounts showed we did nothing wrong, and there was no foreign money. And the California government they did the full investigation, and we were absolved, proving that what we said all along was the truth. Yeah. Yeah, so they, they, they knew that it was a fraudulent claim. They went ahead with the claim. They found nothing, and they went through the bank accounts. They found nothing. No one's talked to me about foreign money. 
nothing at all happened, and they just go, we're just going to drop it after all that. Yeah. Um, obviously political motivated because they hate Cal Exit. And so I went to Snopes. Have you heard of uh, SNOP? They're going to crush any dissent. I mean, there's the leanings first, and then other means after that, if they can't uh, stop your political movement. It's called tyranny. We're living under oppression in the state of California. We just live through it. So I talked to Snopes. You know Snopes, right? The fact group? Yellow journalism propagandists. Yeah, I I'm not saying that. I'm just I'm. Just, I am. Uh, that's fine. You I'm can say whatever that. you want. You can say whatever you want. They're total. They're to, they're total joke uh, clowns. But yeah, I know I know who you're talking about. Okay, I didn't say that. They um, smear good. They work. They work in smearing good people. Well, hold on to that. Uh, so I contacted Snopes, and they wrote an article about um, Russia and Lewis and possible Russia funding of CalExit. And I said, hey, you have this article out, and it really suggests that we're directly funded by the Kremlin. Um, here's this investigation by the California government where they looked into that, and they subpoenaed bank accounts, and they found nothing at all. I told them, keep the article up. Don't change a word. Just add, by the way, there was a formal investigation. They look at the bank accounts. The, inve the accusation did include that they were, we were suspected of uh, uh, funding by a foreign government from Russia. And the California government found nothing at all after they looked through the bank accounts and did nothing at all and totally dropped the case. Can you just... I have the letter saying that we were fully cleared. Yeah. So I asked Snopes, can you just print that? Don't have to say that we are... In your opinion, clear? Just mention that there's a, been a formal investigation. They it's not opinion, it's facts. And the fact of the matter is we have the letter saying that the investigation was done, that there's no evidence we did anything wrong. I mean, it's the fact of the matter. Yeah, so do you want to guess what Snopes' response was? Um, yeah, you're still a Russian agent. They said we're not changing the letter at all. We're not even going to print the update. We're not even going to acknowledge there was investigation. We're not going to say yeah, that they're, they're, not the the fact. they're in the propaganda and smear campaign. Well, I, I'm, I'm not saying that. You are, but uh, I do find it strange. I am. I'm the letter that, 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 that the article about it is total lie. Well, hold on. I got a couple oh, more. Know. I got a couple more for you. So then I respond okay. back to Snopes, going, "Hey, I didn't see a response." So they were not going to respond to me. I had to double check make sure they got the info, and then I got an email back saying, we're doing nothing, the story's going to be unedited, nothing's going to change. So I responded going, hey, can you at least admit that I've been president? Because your article's going back to 2017. It's 20-fucking-20 20 20 now. How about you? I'm not about anything, because they just make up bullshit. Well, I, I told them, here's a link from the L.A. Times saying, I'm president. It's dated to 2017-2018. Can you at least print that, that the LA Times and multiple news organizations list me as the president after Lewis? Don't change anything. Go ahead and see that. But when somebody reviews the article, they go, okay, Lewis, 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 and, and then 2017. Yeah. 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 Um, and you yourself as that, and everyone acknowledged you as that. And they said, no, we're, we're not going to adjust the article. We're not going to admit that you're president. It's still going to be three years old, and we're just going to leave that up there as is. And we're not going to add anything. <laughs> Does that sound like balanced uh, reporting to you, Sam? <laughs> I told you what it is. It's yellow journalism propaganda, man. Straight up. Well, I'm, I'm not going to say that, but I, I'm just curious what your opinion is. Um, but here, it gets even better. So, we pointed out that one of the reporters who covers us um, and has been hinting that we're funded by Russia has had to admit in uh, Eurasia News and to Playboy magazine twice, he's admitted twice, he has found zero evidence of funding. So we pointed that out to Snopes saying, here's the California government, they did this investigation, they found nothing, here's the reporter who covers us extensively, and he has had to admit twice, twice, in press, found zero nothing. Snopes covered none of that. The I don't need any reporter. I got the letter from the state. I, I know, in the story. But, but hold on. on. Case closed. I know, but it gets better. Hold on. Hold on. You're going to love this, okay? 
We tell Snopes, cleared by this investigation. By the way, here's a reporter who said twice he can't find anything. Can you at least print these facts? Snopes says, no, we're not changing anything. We're not doing anything. We're leaving it as is. Coincidentally, coincidentally, hours after I emailed Snopes, that reporter, who we pointed out, had it to admit that there was no funding, goes on his Twitter feed and starts attacking us. We didn't tell them. Is that criminal? They're running criminal racketeering operation is what it is. No, I, I can't prove that they Snopes... They investigated under Organized Crime RICO Act for racketeering. I can't prove that Snopes said, no, we're not adjusting the article. No, we're not looking at your facts. Looked at oh, all the facts. Oh, hold on, hold on. Against you. Hold on, let me, let me get this up. Snopes said, <laughs> um, no, we're not investigating this. No, we're not looking at it. No, we're not update, updating the invest, uh, that there was an investigation you were cleared. No, we're not mentioning that there's a reporter who said they can't find any evidence. And I can't prove this part. But how did the reporter who was mentioned Coincidentally, uh, attack us within hours of, being, of Snopes being emailed when we did no communication with anyone else about this story except for Snopes and we never contacted the reporter? Because he got orders from Snopes to what? Do. says, now that we know this document's a fraud, we're definitely going to investigate you. I then go to Snopes and say, hey, we were in an investigation. Would you at least print this back? They say no. And then in return, although I can't prove it, it does appear as though, although I cannot prove it, Snopes said, no, we're not going to print these facts, but we will notify the reporter that you said this about them and have them attack you in the news in return. So, <laughs> America! That's how they roll. That's America for you. subsidizing 35 states. Those are at least good ideas that libertarians might be open to? Those are good ideas, but uh, it wouldn't happen because they'll take the money and use it on some other bogus social program. 
they're going to spend $60 billion on a new social program. No, I'm sure they will. Ne they never run out of, uh, our state government never runs out of ways to spend your money. Sure, but you're, you're talking about a level of spending they've never done before ever in California history. They've never gotten that larger chunk of money and just blown it. Go to the, go to the Green New Deal, they'll implement that, tear down every building and rebuild it green, uh, environmentally friendly, and on and on and on and on and on. That would be the horrible thing they would do is make the entire yes, economy. They will, find, they will find a way to spend all that money on their utopian ideas, yes. Okay. Well, I'll just point out that historically there's there's not evidence of that. Um, I work in California government occasionally. They have wasted money. You're absolutely right. Look at the high-speed rail. But the waste is at the one to two. They're still building it, man. Mm -hmm. I got to go through. I'm looking at it right now where I work out here in Madera, California. I'm out here looking at an open field and seeing where they're still building it. It's supposed to go now from Merced to Bakersfield. Yeah. There's a highway right here, 99, that goes from Merced to Bakersfield. But some, for some reason, we need a high-speed rail that goes there. Right, so I'm just pointing out to the high-speed rail, if you look at that as a example of the amount of largesse that California is capable of, basically misappropriation mm -hmm. of funds and stuff, you're looking at the one mm -hmm. to two billion dollar wasted money range. I'm talking about 60 to 150 billion dollars. Oh, they'll find a way. Okay, I, I'll, 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 I'll disagree with you there. The sure, I'll disagree <laughs> with you there, and I will point out there's no evidence to... To prove that, I mean, you're talking about their... The Green doing... New Deal is the evidence. Have you seen the Green New Deal? Right, but there's no historical evidence of the California government no, wasting $60 billion dollars at once. There's nothing close to that no, remotely. I agree with you there. There's no okay. historical evidence. That's all I'm evidence, saying. That's all I'm saying. But they're telling us where they want us to go in the future. They already told us. Fair enough. Green New Deal. Fair enough. Fair they're enough. everything, and we got to be environmentally friendly because... Uh, the climate's going to change. Okay, okay. Now, so I, I don't want to point out, though, that we've talked to some conservatives. Are we getting off into the tangent? Well, I've got to go back to work here. Yeah, so so tell people um, any websites you'd like them to look at, any last thoughts that you want them to keep in mind. Weaponizenews.com, my website. Okay. All right, I'm going to get some people in touch with you soon, brother, and thank and you. Thanks for Marcus and his efforts, because we may disagree on some of the, some of the points along the way, but in the whole, we do agree, so uh, support Marcus and his efforts to uh, have uh, California secede from the Union, because we're living in a failed uh, system right now. There you go. You have a conservative and a liberal, me agreeing on the same path for California. I'll leave it there.